Hey, what's up guys? This is Anthony from Anthony's Customs and for this video, we're gonna be unboxing our next Halo Legendary Crate. So you guys know from my last video, for these crates, I think they're fantastic. The first one was anyway. I thought it was great, I loved it. I've been doing the loot crate thing for probably, not probably, just over a year now, and some of the regular crates have been good, some have been okay, some have been not so good. However, most of the problem with regular crates is that you don't know what's going to be inside. Yeah, there are themes each month, and you can kind of tell what's going to be in there a little bit, but you don't know. And so it, it leaves a lot of room for disappointment. This kind of crate, on the other hand, you know exactly what's going to be in it. I love Halo. It's my favorite fictional franchise, which is the only kind of franchises I know, really, now, of all time. I love Halo. It's Halo. I know what's going to be in it, and I love that. And the first one showed me, anyway, that the stuff inside is going to be stuff that I like. Maybe I don't need everything in it, but you don't need any of these collectible type of things anyway. So I think it's a great idea that they are doing specific crates like this. So before I open it, I just want to remind you guys that if you like Halo, you want to get in on this. And I'm not just blindly hawking this stuff. Hawking? Hawking? What's the word? I don't know. I don't do that. I don't, I don't blindly promote stuff. I actually like the Halo Crate. I like Loot Crate in general for the most part, but Halo Crate especially, if you're a Halo fan, you need to sign up. So if you want to sign up, or at least check it out, go to lootcrate.com slash Anthony's Customs. That will let them know that I sent you. That'll help me out. I get some kind of commission. I'm not sure what it is. If you sign up, I do get a commission, being upfront about that, so that helps me. That's awesome. But you also get good stuff, and I can save you some money using discount code Anthony's Custom. So you'll save a little bit of money, get some awesome stuff, help out the channel. Everybody wins. Okay, let's open up the crate. I found that my knife last time, it was just not the right knife for opening boxes. So I got something a little bit better. This one should get the job done. I think. We'll see. It's perfect. It's perfect for cutting tape. Who would have thunk it? Let's use that from now on, I think. All right, so Halo Crate, I'm very excited. Ooh, I like that. I like that. The boxes always have some work inside, some artwork or something. That is an ODST, I'm guessing it's Buck. Very nicely done, it's cool. Yeah, and here's the thing, if you are a collector of Halo products, a Halo collector, you might like a lot of these little trinkety type things that are in here. I know a lot of you guys collect stuff like that, like the crowded coop things. This is full of stuff like that, plus some nice stuff. So it's, it's pretty exciting. Oh, cool. So in the last one, we got one of these. It's like a top secret mission intel thing. We got another one. So that's pretty cool. I want to point out also as we're going, if you see me like moving funny, I messed up my shoulder really bad somehow. I don't know how. I haven't done anything. Well, I did move some heavy stuff, but I don't think that would have done it. I hurt myself playing video games and making videos for action figures. That's not good. Getting old, or weak, or feeble, any of the above. Alright, so there's a few things in here. What do we have? This says classified. It's got some... Ooh, New Mombasa. If you guys remember Halo 2. All about New Mombasa. Halo 3 also. Wait, Halo 2 wasn't New Mombasa. <laughs> what am I talking about? Anyway, that's kind of cool. It's like a classified Intel mission brief thing. And then we have a whole lot of this stuff. I can't let you see all of it because it's too much to read and I don't want to hold it still. But this is, ooh, it's from Perengoski. You guys need to read the fiction. I'm probably going to geek out too much for this Halo stuff for some of you guys. But if you're into Halo and if you read the fiction, then keep watching because I'm going to talk about it some. But uh, Perengoski, Oni-related stuff, talking about Buck. All right. So... There he is right there. You guys could see it while I was talking about it. That's Buck on the back. And so he ends up becoming a Spartan. He was originally an ODST. So there's some, uh, yeah, Spartan 4 stuff. Relate. I gotta read this later. I'm not gonna read it now, because that would be not good for the video. That would be boring. And here we have something. United Nations Space Command Naval Records Archive. Uh, I don't know what this is, but more operations documents. Which is kind of nice. I like this kind of stuff. I love deep fiction. I love rich fiction. Halo has some of the best bar none. Read the books. Start with... You could read Contact Harvest and Cold Protocol. They're good books, but you don't need them as much, even though they do tie everything together a little bit better. Start at least with Fall of Reach and read them all 
in order. I have them all as of when I uploaded the video. I have a video about that in order so you know which ones to read. Do that because they're really, really good books. Ooh, ooh, Virgil. You guys play ODST, the game, Halo 3 ODST? It's all about Virgil on this sheet. I'm going to love reading this stuff. Like, I'm not just saying that to try to get you to buy the crates, guys. I love this stuff. I love it. And I... There's a lot of it this time. Last time we got like one or two documents, I think, and this is awesome. We even have conversations between Virgil and Johnson. I'm assuming that's the Johnson that we all know and love. We all love the Johnson, so that's good. I like that. All right, so we get one of these in every box. It's one of these, uh, what are they called? Screenshots, Halo icons, little figures. Last time we had red team and blue team. It was like a dual Spartan thing, obviously for the multiplayers. And this time, we get, if you haven't guessed already, based on the front of the box, Buck, which has the likeness of Nathan Fillion. Now, I know some people really like Nathan Fillion, and I don't blame them. I like Nathan Fillion also. But some people seem to be upset that they left his helmet off and used the likeness for this figure. And I have to say, I am neutral. I can see the appeal to having it just be an ODST figure. But it's just an ODST figure, so it's not quite as nice. Uh, and I can see the appeal to having... I keep smacking this thing. I need to figure out a way to do this better. I can see the appeal of having the Nathan Fillion figure. I think it would be better maybe to have this one, which is nice the way it is, but then to do a Fireteam Osiris, where you have him in his Spartan armor, helmet on and everything, and then we can build that whole team with Vale and Tanaka and Locke and then Buck. I think that'd be awesome. But this looks nice. It's got nice detail. They did a good job with these figures. I'm pretty happy about that. So, it's another one to add to the collection. It's always good to have these kind of things. They, they're nice to have if you just collect figures mostly like me. It's nice to have things like this just to kind of mix in and around the figures to break it up a little bit. Okay, we have some apparel type stuff, which was my favorite thing in the last crate. We had that little mini backpack, like single strap backpack, and that hoodie. That was really nice. Uh, so I'm excited about these, but I'm going to do them in a minute. And if you haven't seen my last Halo Crate video, I'm going to have a link up there. I pointed in the right direction. It's so hard when it's mirrored. Uh, I'm going to have a link in there for you to check it out. So you guys can check it out. Because it was good. It's good stuff. Alright, and this is some kind of print. It looks like... Oh, it's the artwork that they showed. So that's nice. I like that. This is Halo Loot Crate exclusive artwork. I'm going to try to get it unrolled without totally messing it up. Normally I would do this on like some poster board so I could hold it without messing it up. So that's the artwork right there. So you get that. But it's not really a print. They use that as an excuse to do the uh, little brochure that comes with it and tells you everything you get inside. So I like that. I love that. Halo people love their artwork. And Halo has some of the nicest... Dang it, I did mess it up. Has some of the nicest elements to draw with. They have space and earth. And it's just... It covers everything. Aliens, humans, people, marines, military, navy. Everything you want is in Halo. I love that. I love Halo a bunch. All right, we're going to skip the clothes still because I want to... Oh, man. Okay, so with this, you get a pin every month, and this is the pin this month. And the reason I said, oh, man, is because there are a limited, very limited number of these pins which are solid gold. Not like gold gold, but like not colored. And it would have been nice to have the rarer version, but these are cool. These are metal pins that are very nicely painted. And if you collect pins or Halo stuff, these are awesome. What is this? This has the ODST logo on it. And it has the Superintendent logo on it. So that's pretty cool, but I don't know what it is. I don't... I don't know what it is. No, we don't use the knife like that. This isn't a knife, by the way. This is a machete. Which means it's not that sharp, and I really shouldn't be using it, but it's kind of like a running gag for those of you new people where I change out my knife on a regular basis and it just keeps getting bigger and bigger and bigger. And this was the next step up. My last knife was uh, fairly large, so I had to go with the machete. It's really not a right, the right tool for this. I'll get the right tool for the next unboxing video. Alright, so we're getting this open, if I can get it open. There's a lot of plastic on this little package. And I could have just looked at the sheet to see what everything was, but I like to do it the old-fashioned way. These are Velcro. So 
so they're Velcro. And I mean, obviously this part's like rubber. I don't know what these are. Why, why would you want that? What is it gonna Velcro to? Unless these are like iron-on. All right, you know what? I'm gonna have to figure it out. Let's see what they are. It'll tell us in here. Halo morale patches. It's dangerous to go alone and unadorned on the battlefield. Don't say we never gave you anything as you flaunt uniform regulations with an ODST emblem and flaunt uniform, whatever, and wink at the new Mombasa cameras with a superintendent emblem. Here's a little bonus intel. These Velcro-backed patches are perfect for attaching to you to the utility satchel from Crate 1. So I'm guessing, I don't know about patches. I don't patch things with this kind of stuff. Is that like an iron-on type thing? It doesn't look like it. Maybe you're supposed to stitch it on. I can stitch. I know how to use a sewing machine a little bit. I guess that's what that's for. Well, these are cool. If you're able to do that kind of stuff, these are nice quality little embossed vinyl-y things. So that's kind of nice. We have... A rec pack. Last time I gave away the rec pack. This time, I'm going to keep it, even though I haven't been playing Halo 5. I uh, I don't know what's on this one. I knew it was on the last one. I didn't care. I might want what's on this one if it does have an exclusive item. So I have to keep it. I'm sorry. Get your own crate and you'll be able to get your own rec pack. All right. Now, I say all right too much. I need to stop doing that. Let's look at the clothes. The clothes, awesome last time. This time, we got pants. These match my shirt. Perfect. Halo Collector matches the Halo Loot Crate. Speaking of this, this is a Facebook group and other stuff going on, so check it out. It's facebook.com slash something. It might be Halo Collector. I'll put a link in the description. Check it out. If you collect Halo stuff, check it out. So we have some uh, lounge pants. I wonder, this glows in the dark. I'm guessing this doesn't based on the color, but it's nicely printed, so that's cool. I don't know if these will fit me because I have really long legs, so I'm not going to put them on and show you because they probably won't fit and I'll look like a doofus. But normal people that aren't exceptionally tall will probably have no trouble. And then we have a nice t-shirt. This feels like a really nice shirt. What's on it? We have a drop pod and it says Orbital Drop Shock Trooper Feet First Into Hell. So it's an ODS t-shirt. Very nice. And I can wear that in public without people thinking I'm a weirdo. It's always good to not have people think you're a weirdo. So if you want to be a nerd in public, you can do it without people calling you a nerd in public. I like that. That's cool. All right, so that's it for the crate. I thought that was a nice crate. Again, those pants and the shirt alone make up for the cost of the crate. That's why I'm telling you, if you're a Halo fan, get the crate. Get it. You're going to be happy with it. The clothes are worth it. You get all this other stuff as a bonus. I like the pins, even though I don't care about pins. They're nicely made. I could probably stick them on something down the road. These things, I don't have a use for them. Somebody might, so that's fine. I love this stuff. It's only paper. I get that. But you know what also comes on paper? Books. And books have some of the best things in them. So this is kind of like a book. It's just a very short book. So I like that. We got the poster. We got the figure and the clo Just, I love it. I love the Halo stuff, guys. If you're a Halo fan, you should probably love it too. I mean, you will probably love it too. So there it is. If you do want to check it out, and there's no pressure. I'm selling you this from like a personal thing. I love the crate. I think you will. If you want to check it out, lootcrate.com slash Anthony's Customs. If you don't want to check it out, that's fine. I get it. But if you do and you want to save some money, discount code Anthony's Customs. There it is, guys. I'm going to go to sleep. It's like super late, like wee hours of the morning. I don't know why I'm doing this. I keep shooting these videos like way too late and I'm falling as not falling asleep while I'm shooting them. But I'm rambling sometimes, as you might have been able to tell. All right. I'm, I said it again. I'm going to go. I will see you guys in the next video.